okay, it is 6.50 in the morning and I've decided last minute that I'm going to vlog today. I'm gonna to be trying out a new vlog and stuff that's more show don't tell. In this vlog, I'm going to be writing all day. this morning but I cannot get ready until I do my journal entries because I made a schedule for myself. Hi voiceover atlas here. These voiceovers are a part of the new style that I'm doing when I make these vlogs so expect more of them. Let's address the terrible handwriting on screen. I'm actually journaling with my left hand and I'm right-handed. I'm doing this because my right wrist gets really tired sometimes especially at school and I'd like to be able to fix that before school starts up again and I have to be in high school. But now let's talk about why I am writing for the whole day. I'm doing this challenge because the second part of my schedule is for editing and posting videos, and I don't have videos to edit or post at the moment. So I'm just gonna be writing all day, and then tomorrow I can go back to a regular schedule because I'll have this to edit. Also, I've been hitting writer's block a lot, and I wanna know, can I persevere through writer's block? I'm having trouble with TikTok. I made a new profile, which will now be in the description. Wee! I'm gonna have to work on that tomorrow, though. I should get ready for the day now. Okay, so fix the TikTok problem. I'm ready for the day. And the next thing on my schedule is to stretch and do my morning workout. However, usually I only work out a hundred minutes a week, which isn't a lot. I've already reached that goal within two days because I work out twice a day according to this schedule. I'm just gonna stretch because I, I'm really, really excited to write. Oh, I also have to make my bed. It's time to get up, baby. No, that's not getting up. I think, I think you misunderstood what I said. It's time to get up and come down here. I think I've become an expert at making the bed around her, so I'm just gonna practice those skills. It may not be my best bed making work, but this dog comes above all other. I think it's time for Penny Appreciation. So I decided to do stretches for posture this day because mine was getting really bad and posture is something that's really important to me and very important to how people perceive you. My grandmother always told me to imagine a string coming from in between your shoulder blades to the ceiling or like a cloud or something if you're outside and then imagine that string is taut so that your back is straight and then of course relax your shoulders. My coffee's gone. Why'd I only get half a cup? I know it's because I am very sensitive to caffeine but I need more coffee, but I won't go get any because I know that it'll make me crazy. I'm to turn on the computer and actually start writing. What the world? What the? What in the world is this? I don't want this. I want Google Chrome, please. I'm running out of storage. This is terrible. All fixed. Now let's talk about this short story that I started yesterday that I could potentially make into a book, so I'm not going to finish it because I might just write a whole book. And I have so many ideas for short stories just in my journal here, uh, but we'll work on those later because right now I'm actually writing the rough draft of a book and it's a very terrible book. Working title is Ordinary World because if you look at the hero's journey chart, which I used to outline this, uh, there's two parts to it. There's the known world and unknown world or ordinary world and special world. So um, that's why I called it ordinary world because I'm lazy. Okay, let's start the actual video. It takes me a little bit of time to remember what happens next in the story when I begin writing for the day, but eventually I got into it the flow of things and I started doing research on my iPad, which you can sort of see at the bottom of the screen. It was going really well. I write a lot of dialogue in these stories and I will go back in the next draft and, and like fix that, but I would just like to get down the dialogue so that the characters can express themselves, sort of build on that character with the dialogue, all that sort of stuff. So in the background of this clip, you can see that instead of researching, I was actually texting my mom and closing out tabs and stuff of the like. And you can also see my terrible posture, which now that I know it's this terrible, I am definitely going to fix it. This is a very, very long video, and I used the same time-lapse feature that I used to the other one. I'll cut it out for viewing purposes, but just know I was being super productive. So I've almost written two pages, which is my limit. Um... Am I upside down? I'm upside down. I'm gonna try 
brainstorming, just writing down whatever ideas come up into this journal. I'm also going to watch a YouTube video about writing because I'm needing some tips to finish up this page. Usually when I start writing, I just get in the flow of things and then I just write, write, write. And that's what's happening right now. But obviously I'm gonna have to edit it a lot. So when I'm brainstorming and I don't have an idea right off the bat, I like to go to blog.readsy.com and they have some good prompts that I can take inspiration from. And then I write all of my ideas down in my journal. This is difficult. I'm reading through so many prompts from different websites and I can't really come up with anything. I'm trying to get three prompts down, I have one. I took a break and I got pulled downstairs to guard my dog while she ate because she doesn't like being alone. I did it, I did it. Guess who came up with three prompts? So now I'm just gonna read through all the prompts that I have. I have two pages in here and I'm going to start writing a short story. Here's the main character's name. And so I set off writing the short story Zenta, which I didn't actually finish. I got a little bit over my head by using this prompt. So the story was about an illusionist named Zenta, but everyone calls her like Harper or something, and she basically has to save the world from invaders while everyone else is living their normal life because she uses her illusionist powers to shield them and all their senses from what's actually happening so that they feel safe. Yeah, I'm kind of bored of this story. I could write a song. I could try writing another short story. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break, get on YouTube, and I'm going to look up like writing tips videos because uh, those always help me get inspired and motivated and um, excited. I just realized it's only 10.30 and I'm already like lost. I don't know what to do. So I think that I'm going to try outlining a new story. How do you like this? The main character meets the same person from two different dimensions, but they are super duper different. And we explore the paths that these characters took, to, or the same character took, to become these two very different people. I didn't end up fleshing out this outline as much as I needed to because I wanted to think over all the aspects of the story and it was very complex. So I remember writing like the start of a book a really long time ago. I don't know what I called it though. And I'm just coming across all these really weird books that I started writing. I think I'm just gonna go back to writing the book that I'm already working on. The sooner I finish that, you know. I've been working on this for like a couple weeks and I'm only on 13,000 words. Oopsie. And here we go, writing this book again. It's really great to have a long-term project in the works because you always have something to fall back on when I'm doing a challenge like this and I'm not feeling inspired by anything else I'm doing. It also helps that this book isn't very complex at the beginning of it, which is what I'm writing at the moment. Although this book falls into the sci-fi genre, which I'm not exactly accustomed to writing, it is a very light world building and a lot of it focuses on the characters and their relationship and how they view the world around them. It's odd to say that this book sort of relies on its characters because I didn't really make character sheets for them. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but it's really working for me so far and is making it fun to write, even if it's not that good to read. So far, at least. I'm gonna fix it, I promise. The last book that I attempted to write, I wrote 16 versions of and just couldn't give it up. I felt like every single thing had to be perfect, even if it was only the first draft, and therefore I didn't get past the first draft. So the one tip that I have to give you is just finish the first draft and then worry about it all later. You can scrap it if you want, but just knowing that it's there as a general guideline, now that will relax you. Or at least I hope it's relaxing. I've never actually finished the first draft of any book I've written before. My wrist hurts. I then decided to have a delicious late breakfast cinnamon roll outside with the dogs. It was a very nice day as opposed to the 100 degree weather we've been having. So I'm in the hallway outside of my room and I have to keep reminding myself um, that this book I'm writing, it's only the rough draft. It's only draft one. So it's not gonna be good because I cannot just produce an amazing draft one. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it to be better because um, it, it, it's really bad right now, but I don't know. Let's just write it, I guess. This happens often. And by this, I mean, losing hope in my writing abilities, and feeling borderline worthless. It's difficult to read something, a piece of literature, so good, and then look at your own work and compare yourself. And I've been trying to work on not doing that, but sometimes intrusive thoughts just sneak up on me. 
I'm not a very insecure person physically, but mentally, I have a lot to work on. Although this part in the video seems sudden, this had been building for hours. I just wasn't happy with anything I was producing and wanted to go back and edit now. So after trying and failing to write, another little break was in order. Okay, we're back. I just watched a YouTube video of people trashing on books and, you know, now my confidence is restored. Yeah, in reality, it wasn't as simple as that, but yeah, yeah, that's basically what got me to get out of bed and actually attempt to write again. Everything in this writing sprint was slower, I thought slower, I wrote slower, everything was slower, but it was also very deliberate. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I keep getting distracted. And the scenes that I'm writing are boring and... I don't know. It's harder to focus. Do I still watch MHA? Have I watched past season four? Have I read the manga? No. Am I watching this video? Yes. So you're gonna tell me I've only written 2,000 words today? Ludicrous. What? I, I have truly hit a wall. Um, not exactly writer's block, because I know what happens next to the story, but I don't know where I want to take this, and I feel like I need to be refreshed before I can come sit down and look at this differently. So I think I need to write something else, and that something else is going to be a song. I just remembered I'm supposed to be taking care of two children, so let's go ask them what they want for lunch or something. I don't know, do I need to feed them lunch? I really don't like songwriting with the piano, so I'm just gonna sit on my bed, write down some lyrics, and come up with a melody to them. So tired. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to film me writing any of this song because it's just me writing with, in my notebook with a pen once again. But I finished the song and yeah. I kind of have writer's block, I think. It's almost two and my dad said I have to eat lunch. So I need to go find something for lunch because everyone else is having McDonald's and I am not eating McDonald's. So speaking of food, I've decided that I'm going to be vlogging my Chicago trip and I'm going to be eating a lot of good stuff if I have it my way, which usually I don't. Uh, so I'll be vlogging that on my TikTok and maybe here on YouTube. But anyway, for lunch, I decided to make ramen and I made a sauce for it, which is a little bit advanced for me. Just don't know what I'm doing in the kitchen. I would have put an egg in here, but I don't really like eggs lately. So that'll probably change like next week, but right now I don't like eggs. So as we were just talking about, I have writer's block. I just looked at my script and notes for the editing of this video and I was supposed to be talking about writer's block while I made my food. I just, I, one, am not motivated to write the book and two, I don't know where to go next because my outline is so vague. But I also might have won an award for perseverance when I was in elementary school. Might have, I'm not actually sure. But thinking about it, those awards don't really mean anything because I also got an award for humility but it soon became time to get rid of the writer's block. I tried staring at the story, practicing some magical spells, complimenting it like a plant. I even became religious. But what actually worked was sitting down and writing whatever crappy idea came to mind. I think I'm gonna stop here unless I get like some phenomenal idea. So I hope you don't think I was being lazy this whole time, okay? I hope you don't. I, w I did like a thousand Duolingo lessons. I started doing research on cults because I had a very good idea for a book all of a sudden about cults. Took a nap, ate some chocolate, and had dinner. And I've been staying hydrated, which is very hard to do at my father's house. I need to revise my schedule because I always get tired in the middle of the day. It is time for conclusions. I'm just gonna do it even though they're yelling in the background because when else am I gonna do this? Writing is tiring and you can just persevere through writer's block and um, I really appreciated having something to fall back on like my book because I already knew what was going to happen next so it was harder to get writer's block but I probably should outline it even better because I didn't know what to do next and the plot points were very spread out. That was really, really fun just writing all day and not doing much else. I mean, I was sitting for the whole day, so I have like a whole lot of pent up energy. I was like running up and down the stairs uh, just now. That's why I'm so out of breath. It's a solid day. I feel really productive. Writing's awesome. Like, subscribe. Till next time. Bye.